All right, let's make this. I'm gonna start off with my uh, foam knife. There's uh, giving a little texture to the sides of the uh, XPS foam that I'm uh, using to make this project. I'm just randomly going at it, looking at maybe adding some bark to the side to give it some more texture. I'm gonna switch over to my uh, knife there and just start carving away, going at it kind of wild and then beveling the edges, giving it a bit of a roundedness, but still keeping the elevation. Trying to find a couple of spots to put some of that bark there so I can uh, really get that texture in there and go at it with aluminum ball before you get too crazy with this because you're gonna regret it later. And we'll hot glue that down. I love my hot glue, man. I'm a hot glue fanatic. I'm going to cut this out into a random shape. I do this with all my terrain so that it kind of, you know, maybe mixes in better with the terrain or it's a little bit more random. Right now I'm uh, cutting two-inch uh, dowels off to the side there, just getting ready to create the base of the platform. Using my uh, trusty shears. Of course, it's a little bit of work, and I had to work it out a little bit, but it all kind of worked out. And I start placing them, kind of just eyeballing them, seeing where I like to put them. I eyeball a lot. You'll notice I don't do a whole lot of measuring. I do and I don't. Um, I like the fluidness of it when I'm in my crafting mode. I just like to go at it. And sometimes measuring slows me down, and sometimes you got to measure. So I'm adding some glue to the side here, like DM Scotty does on his uh, channel. Give it a little bit of wood grain later on. That'll really pop when we start getting at it with a dry, dry brush. I got some uh, smaller dowels there. I cut them to the same length, just trying to make a, a bit of a wall on either side of this, kind of like a gangway. Things seem to be kind of working out here for me, so I'm just kind of quickly going at it, hitting that up with some more hot glue to give it some more uh, wood grain. And one of those uh, dowels didn't quite fit. I just kind of did a quick replacement, give her some texture, and we'll get her back in place. All right, I got my trusty favorite mini here. It's a orc female shaman. That's one of my favorite paint jobs I ever did. Uh, I'm going to show you this here pretty soon, but uh, unfortunately, it's not a great view. Anyways, we're going to work on the top part of the middle platform now. Cutting some stir sticks just to size. I want uh, one across the top of each one of these straight and then i'm going to have a couple uh, i'm going to have the rest of them just hang over the edge just maybe a centimeter you guys will notice that i work in both inches and centimeters um i'm a pipeline foreman here in uh, canada so i we use both i get that kind of set up there and then what i start doing is uh, i grab my um, dentist tool one of my favorite ones and just start carving some wood grain into the top some people use the wire brush, and I do do that on occasion, but I find that this is, uh, it's, as most people call it, cartoony. I, I like the way that it stands out. And on the back side here, I'm going to create a little bit of cover for anybody that might be in the gangway underneath the platform. Something to shoot from, to maybe protect themselves, just in case you're under attack. Maybe about three stir, stir sticks tall. And then I'm going to work on the front um, stairway. Uh, some people make their stairways um, super to uh, the way that they're supposed to be, right to right to form. I usually do it so that I can put my minis on it. So I'm going to put two stairs here, approximately an inch or so apart. Um, obviously, it represents a, a larger distance, but for me, I can get my minis on there, and you can have it set up, and you don't have to worry about things falling over. Or um, maybe half movement, getting halfway up the stairs and not being able to finish your movement. So I'm using those coffer stir sticks again. I'm going to just make a couple of little random platforms. Now this thing isn't supposed to be brand new. You know, you imagine that this uh, bell tower or um, lookout 
a post is uh, or century post has been uh, kind of there for a little while, right? So uh, you know, people have utilized it over maybe a millennia, um, you know, maybe not a millennia, maybe a hundred years or whatever. It's been up, and uh, you know, it's going to look a little disheveled. It's going to look a little beat up. Here, I'm just uh, getting the stairs kind of in place, making sure that they're kind of level, so that you know, your minis will stand on top of it. It's also the reason why I keep my mini kicking. So I bought this really cool pillar from Reaper Bones, right from their site. And then I made a silicone copy of it. And I punched out two resin pieces. They're identical. And I'm going to use those for my uprights. I love silicone. I, uh, I love making molds. I love resin pieces. Uh, the majority of the time when I'm doing my stuff, if I want multiple pieces of something, I'll just go buy a bunch of random stuff that I think is cool, and then I'll make a bunch of molds, and then I'll punch out as many pieces as I want. Save me a little bit of money, and I don't mind doing the work, and I enjoy it. And here I'm using some square dowel here. I'm going to make that top platform now. Um, almost forgot to get the wood grain in there, so I'm doing that very quickly here. And I get the other one on. It's not bad. I was thinking about something, I changed my mind here. Went back to the coffee stir sticks for the top platform. Cutting them just so that they uh, match the top nice and neat. Carve a little wood grain in there. Gotta have the wood grain. And we'll just keep hot gluing these things in. I really do love hot glue, man. I can't say it enough. It's quick. It's easy. And imagine, man, all you got to do is just tack things down. It's just got to have a little bit of hot glue. You're going to modge podge this. You're going to go over it with some sort of solution. You're going to tighten it up. You're going to hit it with a varnish. This thing's going to be solid as rock. So now I'm using, um, looks like I'm using a uh, skewer here. Getting ready to make the bell portion. I've got a couple of wooden beads from the craft store. I'm just going to throw them together and try to create like a bell-like um form and then i take a couple of those really cheap or well, at least one of those really cheap plastic beads turn it on its side so the whole side to side and it fits right on the skewer like that once i get that bell on i make sure that those two on the side there the two beads are nice and secure and then i start adding um thinking i'm going to go with a little bit of yeah a little bit of string here it doesn't matter the color who cares about pink i don't mind pink anyways i'll wear it i'm a manly man but i just want that extra texture and keep that bell piece in the center from wobbling all over the place so I get that wrapped on there, hot glue it down, cut it into place, and then using those two end beads there, I'm going to hot glue that right into place. As you can see, it still kind of moves. I mean, it might not so much after the paint job, but it moves right now. I'm thinking about the side pieces. Obviously, I'm not going to do the man cages, but I'm thinking about maybe a couple of ornaments. We might just get back to that here. I'm going to switch over to uh, doing a little bit of, um, you know, protection out the back end, some... Uh, pikes coming up out of the ground, kind of like when you do um, any kind of uh, barricade, uh, especially in uh, Warcry. And I'm going to probably grab, uh, yeah, I'm going to grab some chain here, some of that crafting chain, super cheap. Start hot glue and wrapping that around. You know, really in the game of te of um, terrain, it's it's just about texture. It's just about adding cool things, cool little details. You know, when you start dry brushing and brushing this stuff, this it's really going to pop. So I got those uh, chains kind of glued on there, taking a little look, making sure everything's kind of working out for me. Now I'm thinking I'm going to use some more of those skewers there. I'm going to make a ladder to the second platform. Obviously, I'm not too worried about making this uh, so that I can get my minis actually on it. I mean, it would be full movement to get up to the top anyways, pretty much. <clears throat> so we're just going to start hot gluing those together, making sure that the rungs are on relatively spaced evenly. Again, I'm not doing much measurement. I'm going to trim it up. And we'll just hot glue that into place. Chain, uh, cutting off any extra chain that might be kicking. All right, this is starting to really come forward here. I like it. Minis all fit. Oh, I got some more of those wooden dowels. Uh, sorry, wooden... Um, beads from the craft store. I'm just going to start making some random shapes here to see how they all kind of work out. I got a couple of those plastic diamond-like crystals from the dollar store as well. I'm just going to hot glue this all together and make something kind of cool looking. 
There, I had a great idea. I was going to try some hot glue texture around this thing. It didn't quite work out the way I want, so I went and grabbed some of this. You know, you see it on every wedding centerpiece in the world. Um, but it's shiny, and it's got some great form and some great textures, and there's different types. So I'm just going to glue that around there and just kind of finish getting this together. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. So we'll wrap that around there and then I'm gonna think I'm gonna grab some more of that chain and figure out a half decent length there. We're gonna hot glue it right into the top of that wooden bead. And let that set for a couple of seconds there and bam. I'll figure out a good length, eyeballing it again. Do the same with the second side. Then nothing too fancy. We're just going to hot glue that chain hanging over there so it looks like it's attached properly. It's going to look cool on your table regardless. I don't care. You can go with making those uh, man cages. I didn't want to take the time with that today, but I'm thinking maybe one day in the future I'll go back and redo it. I'm going to make a little um, uh, bell rope ringer. Something to hang out at the bottom to really make it look like a bell, considering um, in the shape I created is relatively okay. Bells take all forms and shapes. And there it is. Kind of looks decent. All right, making sure that platform's down there nice and tight. It kind of shifted on me a little bit. I'm going to use uh, PVA glue and some water, about 50-50, like everybody else in the world. Add a little bit of grain and some uh, sand and some small rocks. Give it some more texture. And then I'm going to add some actual big rocks and just place them out there. Give it some more character. All right, I spray bomb the whole bad boy. We're going to go over this with a 90%, 95% medium gray paint job. Just getting that on there. Just slathering it all over the place. And I had a little project on the side going there that unfortunately uh, I didn't seal the bottom of the mold properly and it's starting to run out on me, so I'm trying to salvage what I can. Shouldn't have been doing two things at once, of course. Continue on with the paint job. We get out the burnt umber, start adding a little bit of browns to the gray, and then hitting up anything that's wood. Again, we're about 90, 95% coverage. I'm not too worried about getting sloppy here, man. Just having a little bit of fun. Once you start dry brushing this bad boy, she's really going to start standing out. Making sure everything's covered. Got a good start. See in the center pieces there, those uh, resin poured pieces, they're really starting to pop out now. All right, going back over a little bit, I'm going to do a light gray dry brushing, and then I'm going to go over this uh, with a cinnamon brown. Sometimes I like to mix in a little bit of that spun gold you can find at the crafting store. It's nice and cheap. Give it a little bit more uh, lightness to it, but going over that again, maybe 50, 60% coverage. I do multiple layers. I also do a black wash, so I'm not too worried about any of this being way too bright right now. I mean, the way it looks right now is not going to be the way it turns out. All right, this is the first attempt I've ever used an airbrush, so I thought I'd grab out some of that Citadel pig iron metal, start doing up those uh, side ornaments and uh, do the chain there and anything that you want to look like steel or metal of some kind. I kind of like the airbrush. I'm still not used to using it very much. I'm still used to doing everything by hand, um, but uh, airbrush is kind of fun to play with. Even a little more detail there. I think I grabbed a little bit more cinnamon just going in in there and trying to get some more underneath. You know, multiple colors, multiple layers really helps your train. All right, here I am still just kind of going a little bit at it. I'm going to go over this with a nice white dry brush. Now, I know this looks a little crazy. I'm using one of those uh, makeup dry brushes from the... Uh, dollar store they work like a champ man i really like them i've got like nine of them just in case anyways i'm going over this pretty heavy i know it looks real heavy it looks real bright 
But in the end, as you can see, after the black wash, it all just tones it down. And I'm too cheap to have one of those spinners yet, so I'm doing this by hand. I <laughs> uh, did a little bit of flocking. You know, if you guys enjoy this kind of video, uh, I'll continue to do more. And uh, I'll do more detail, maybe slow down a few more bits. Right now, I'm just doing videos for the sake of doing videos and enjoying myself and having a little bit of fun. And my channel is just going to be what it's going to be. So everybody, let's go berserk and subscribe now.